So we'll look at an, a level 2 functional skills exam question and this one's one of those awkward ones where it's got a lot of words and it's hard to understand what it actually wants you to do. So let's read through it carefully. Molly is taking part in a health study. The graph here shows the calories that Molly used when she exercised for 20 minutes. And if we look, it, it, the graph does go up to 20 minutes. When Molly watches TV, she uses 72 calories per hour. Molly thinks she used at least 100 more calories when she exercised, here, than if she watched TV for 20 minutes. Is Molly correct? And then we also have to show a check. Alright, so there's lots of stuff going on here. We need to work out how many calories she would burn watching TV for 20 minutes. We need to work out how many calories she burned overall here, and then find out if this one is 100 calories more than this one. Okay, uh, I think let's tackle the TV for 20 minutes first. So we know how many calories she burnt watching TV for an hour, and we want to know how many calories she burnt watching TV for 20 minutes. Well, how much smaller is 20 minutes than an hour? Probably helps to think of an hour as 60 minutes. How many times bigger is an hour than 20 minutes? How many 20 minutes go into an hour? Well, if I'm not sure, I can just come over to the calculator. How many 20s go into 60? 3. OK, so what this number means is that an hour is made up of 3 20 minutes. In other words, 20 minutes is uh, 3 times smaller than an hour, and if she's watching TV for a third as long, she burns a third as many calories. OK, so I think it's always good advice to put everything in your working out box if it's helped you. So this bit, yeah, you could have done it in your head, but I'm going to put it in the working out box anyway. Uh, so an hour is three times three lots of 20 minutes. So this is three lots of what she burnt for 20 minutes. So if I take that and divide it by three. OK, so she burnt 24 calories by watching TV for 20 minutes. Copy to working box. Uh, and I'm also going to make a note for myself and for the examiner. So that's that's how many calories she burnt watching TV. And now I'm doing exercise. Exercise. OK which means we're coming over to this graph. So what this graph means is that for the first five minutes, for example, she burnt six calories per minute. In fact, she burnt six calories per minute for the first 15 minutes. So let's think about what I'm actually saying there. For 15 minutes, she burnt six calories per minute. Every minute she burnt, 60, every minute she burnt six calories for 15 minutes. So 15 minutes and 6 calories every minute, 15 times 6, 90. So for this chunk here, for this little block, she burnt 90 calories. 90 calories in there, cool. Uh, which leaves this other little bit. Uh, this is an extra 5 minutes, not 20, this is just a 5 minute block here, from 15 minutes to 20 minutes. And for those 5 minutes, she burnt 8 calories a minute. So she spent five minutes burning eight calories every minute. So for that last chunk, she burned 40 calories. Copy to working box. So in this bit here, oh, sorry, you can't read that. For this bit here, she burnt 40 calories. So altogether, she burnt 90 calories in that chunk, 40 calories in this last five minutes. So 40 plus 90, that's 130 calories overall. Okay, so I think I've done the maths there. So my natural path is to go back to the question and just check I've answered it. Um, Molly thinks she used at least 100 more calories when she exercised than if she watched TV for 20 minutes. Is she correct? So it's really good that I came back to the question here because so far I haven't answered that. I've worked out how many calories she burnt uh, for exercising for 20 minutes and for watching TV for 20 minutes, but I haven't answered this. Is Molly correct? She thinks she used at least 100 more calories when she exercised, here, than if she watched TV for 20 minutes, here. Sorry, let me just format that better. OK, so this question is asking, is this 100 more, at least 100 more, than this? Again, if I'm not really sure, I can always come back to the calculator. 130, take away 24, that's how much bigger it is. It's 106 bigger. 
I do want to put that in my working out box, but it hasn't gone in the right place. So I'm just going to delete that, scroll down to the bottom, and I want to put it here. That's that's a bit better. Okay. So the amount she burnt while watching while exercising was 106 more than she burnt while watching TV. She thinks she burnt at least 100 more. Is she correct? Yes, she is. She burnt 106 more, in fact. It also wants us to show a check of our working. Now, just for the examiner's benefit, I'm going to make it really clear where I'm doing a check. Uh, and I'm going to pick something that I've done in my working out, and I'm going to do a reverse calculation, because I think that's a nice, it's fairly straightforward and consistent way of doing a check. Uh, I'm going to pick uh, this bit. 5 times 8 is 40. I want to check I did this bit right. 5 times 8 is 40. So I'm going to do a reverse calculation. So I'm going to start with my answer, which was 40. And instead of doing a times, I'm going to do a divide. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to choose to divide by 5. Now my answer should be 8. If this is correct, then my answer here should be 8, which it is. Good. So I copy that into my box. Right, I've checked my answer. Okay, so there was lots of things I had to do here. I had to work out how many calories she burnt watching TV for 20 minutes. So I had to divide this number by 3 to get 24. That was good, we did that. I had to work out how many calories she burnt while exercising. So I had to use the graph and read from that, which I've done. Good, worked out that she burnt 130 calories. And then I had to answer the, the sort of complicated wordy bit. She thinks she used at least 100 more calories when she exercised, 130, than if she watched TV for 20 minutes, which was 24. Subtract those from each other, one's 106 bigger than the other, which is at least 100, so she's right, good. I had to show a check of my working, which I have done. So I'm happy that with that question I've got the three marks for the main question and the extra mark for the working out.